So in this video I want to talk about what to expect right after your amputation and when uh, you should look into, at what point you should look into getting casted for a, for a prosthetic leg. Uh, some places they can go right in, you know, the next day after you're amputated and get you casted. But I'll touch on that in a minute. So, yeah, right after your amputation, you're going to be bandaged all up, of course. For me, at the end of the leg, they had a big, it was one of those uh, abdominal pads. Uh, it was wrapped around and then a tensioner band-aid around that. And I think it was three times a day. Take it off, clean it all up, put on new band-aids and, and uh, be good to go. So... Uh, yeah, so they can come in, as I said at the beginning of the video, they can come in right away and cast you the, well, you're not even healed up yet. To me, no, I wouldn't do that. Absolutely not, because your leg is going to be so swollen up. Um, you know, they cast you, um. I think I was two or three weeks before I was healed up where I could get into a leg. Um, so I waited till I was healed before I could cast it. And I was like, you're not touching that. <laughs> nope. But anyway, uh, I think the whole being, having your bandage on and your tension bandaid on there is going to help get the swelling down. Um, you come out of the hospital, you're still swelled up, swollen up pretty bad. And they're going to put you into a leg. No. You're going to be shrinking so much so fast. They're going to have to be changed on left, right, and center. I mean, change it quite a bit. Uh, at the beginning anyways. So. Yeah, myself, I would totally wait till you get healed up. Uh, before they cast you. So. Anyway, just wanted to touch on that. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'll make a big jib draw. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.